and welcome to the introductory video for Rero. Now, first and foremost, I'd like to say congratulations. Since you're watching this, it will mean that you're beginning your journey as a roboticist, where you build, program, experiment, and most importantly, have fun with designing robots. Rero, the reconfigurable robot, is a robotics construction kit that features easy-to-use hardware and a simple programming tool. Rero is designed with the aim of lowering the learning curve so that even the young or the inexperienced can have a hand on designing their own robots. Now we're going to start to unbox this set. So first of all, the first thing you'll see is what we call the board of contents. So you have all the type of parts in the set, the name of the part, and how many you should have. So let's say this one here, then you should have only one controller, four, you join, so on. So if it's your first time opening the set, it's a good idea to check if you have all the parts inside the set so that if you have anything missing, you can contact support and then you can get the parts that you're missing. Also, it's very important to get familiar with the names of the parts so that in the future videos when you refer to the parts in the official names, then you'll know which part we're talking about. Okay. So next, use some stickers. And then here's the quick start guide. Also, if it is your first time trying out Euro, it's a good idea to read through the quick start guide. Okay. It guides you through. It has instructions for building a simple robot. And then it teach you how to connect the wires, how to set path limits, and play a program, and so on. Of course, we'll go through that in future videos. But it's a good idea to read read through it. Next, there will be three trays inside this inside the box. This is the first, second, and the third. To that, the box will be empty. So, box aside. Okay. So here are the three trays. So here we have a look. These are all the parts. This is the layout of the parts you should have. When once you open the box for the first time. Okay. Now for the first tray, this is the most important part in the real set. It's the controller. So it runs the programs. It's practically practically the brain of the robot. And then the battery is also inside. So you run so when you build a robot, you have to remember to always include this part or the robot won't run at all. Okay. Next we have a head module. So this, you most probably use this as a head of the robot. So it has a mic sensor inside and also an IR sensor. And then we have two additional sensors. This is the IR sensor, and then this is the ultrasonic sensor. So you can see there's there's a wording on it, the SS one hundred two on the ultrasonic and SS one hundred one on the IR sensor. So this is these are practically the ID. For the head module is SS100. So once you plug in the microcontroller, will know which part is communicating to based on the ID. Next, we have two openers. The openers aren't actually parts of the robot because the real construction kit uses an easy building construction method where you slide the parts into slots so that the robot will, so the parts will stay together. So once you slide the parts into the slots together, they'll be very solid and firm. Now, if you want to dismantle a robot, you need the opener to, to pull the parts out. Next, we have claws. These are more cosmetic. You just use it so that, let's say you want to build an animal robot, you can just use the claws to decorate the robot. Then you need its arms, its hands, and everything. And then we have slim wheels, the four. So, let's say you want to build a car robot, you can just use it. Of course, there are other ways to use it. It's just based on your imagination. So that's the first tray. Now this is the second tray. So there are eight cube servos. The cube servos are practically the co the servo motors for the Rero set. So you can say that it's the muscles of the robot. You need the cube servos so that the robot can move. The cube servos are characterized characterized with the two wires, one one male, one female, and then the output connect. So you practically need to connect the parts here. And remember that you have to follow the yellow arrow. So let's say the arrow is pointing here, so the part needs to go in like this. And also it has an ID. All eight of them, they have their different IDs. 
So it's, it serves the same purpose as the sensors, so that the controller will know which one it is uh, communicating to. Now here we have U-joints. This one is the normal U-joint. The U-joints are basically the joints for the robots, so you can build arms, legs, etc. This one is the long U-joint. You can see it's a bit, little bit longer, so you can get a bit longer links. And then here's the white U-joint. Here we have six cube, connect, cube connectors. They look like the cube servos, but you can see that there aren't wires protruding from it. And also, it doesn't have the upper connect. And also, it's lighter than the cube servo. You can just use it as a joint, as a part, so you can build robots with different shapes and sizes. Okay. Now to the third tray. Here we have two foot plates. So, you can just use it to use it as a foot of the robot so you can walk around. And here we have the charger. Now the charger actually consists of three parts. The battery charger is a cable. And then here inside the packet of wires. You need to find one with the white head. There's only one. Okay. So this white head goes here. It's the left. Port. And then this one, this way here. So this is your charger, and then this would be your the battery of the robot. Now, if you don't find this here, it will practically mean that the battery is already inside your controller. Then, if you need to charge, you just plug it in here. Okay, that's the charger. And here we have the packet of wire extensions. <coughs> they're actually already wired for tuning from the sensors and the motors, but the extensions you can just use them to your utility so that maybe if the wire isn't long enough or in a situation where you need an extension, you can just use the extension wires. <coughs> Next, we have the USB cable. You use the USB cable to connect the controller to the laptop or your computer so that you can program the real controller, run programs, etc. And here we have different type of connectors. Here the packet of single spacers, wire clips, double spacers, rotatable connects, inner connects, and the adapter joints. And that's all the parts in the reload set.